Hey DJ Tech Tools, uh, a few weeks back I showed you how I play and one of my favorite things about playing was triggering little samples on top of my set. You know, little fills or hi-hats or you know, elements to sprinkle on top of your house sets. And today I've got a dead simple but super powerful trick on how to record those fills in a really interesting way. All right, so let's imagine that I'm DJing here. I've got a couple tracks going and I wanna do some little snare fills on top. So I might have some effects going, maybe a little reverb, maybe a little filter. Just spice it up. Hopefully not doing it too much. Now wouldn't it be cool if I could record that? Well, one thing you can do is uh, set a beat masher. which is cool because the pattern just repeats, but it repeats over and over again the same every time. So here's a different way to record what you do um, and still use that beat masher, but have it decay in a really interesting way. So the T3 reverb, or the T3 delay I should say, is one of the original delays in Tractor, and it's really full on. There it is. Super big delay. So most people don't use it, but it's really useful, I've discovered, for recording what you've done with a controller. If you turn the knob all the way to the left, that's a big long delay, which essentially means a big long recording. So if we are playing a track and we hit the delay on at the same time as our, uh, triggering a sample in some kind of a way, it's going to record, essentially record what I do. So let's try it. So there it is. It's a uh, four count loop, essentially. But the nice thing is that it's a delay. So it's gonna slowly, or rather an echo, it's gonna slowly kind of delay out and get quieter and you can do stuff on top of it. And if you wanted, you could even grab that delay and create some interesting patterns. Or if you're feeling really wild, you could even record a beat masher roll by doing something like this. Now this can get really wild. Because it's continually feeding the delay and continuing to delay even more. So be careful, this can get a little bit wild, but it's a really cool effect. So there it is, folks, a dead simple way to record essentially any action that you do out of a track, have it decay over time, and allow you to do further overdubs. It's the T3 delay. It's right here in your drop down, delay T3. Just make sure you have your knob turned all the way to the left so the delay is super, super long and it'll give you a four count recording. For more tips, tricks, reviews, and so much more, visit us on the web at djtechtools.com.